We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Tampa Bay Rays and the New York Yankees. Major League Baseball on the Show starts now. Jay Happ gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Ready now, Kevin Kiermeyer, And we are set for baseball here this evening. Off tonight for Tampa Bay, the center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. The 2-1. Liner in there for a base hit. That's a big knock right there for his confidence. He had seen it. He, you're walking to the plate. You know your average had dipped below 220 for the first time in a long time. Nice A bit. Standing in now, Jose Martinez. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. Into the box now, Austin Meadows. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. The 1-0. The bouncer to the left side. Torres scoops it up, and he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Took a real risk by going after the lead runner there heading into third. That's always a tough call, and it's hard to fault them for being aggressive. But you hate not to get an out when the batter was giving himself up. At the plate, Hunter Renfro, as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. From the belt, the pitch, and he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, 1 and 1. behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Not just yet. It's ball two. As a veteran out on the mound that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Kiermaier at third, Martinez at second, Meadows on at first with nobody out. This is in the air to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. 
Man, this is a spot where you really want to get greedy as a hitter. Bases loaded, nobody out. You're hoping for that big swing of the bat. What does he get? A sacrifice fly, and only one run scores. I'm sure he wanted more, but he's not going to complain about the RBI. Standing in, Yandy Diaz. And a great chance here for the Rays to add on in just the first inning. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. First and second now, one man out. Again, another foul ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That's a pretty good pitch right there. That fastball on the inner half of the plate. You can see that he just isn't able to get those arms extended and pretty ugly swing right there. To the plate now, Brandon Lau. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Tough situation early out on the mound, but if he can limit the damage right here, might build some confidence and get him rolling. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Two men are on with two men out. Tried to work it back to that low inside corner, but it misses one and two. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. A 1-2 pitch. Two, two. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Full count, three balls and two strikes. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Payoff pitch on its way. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Rays will settle for just the one. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Tampa Bay leads this one one to nothing. Tyler Glasnow gets the ball for the Rays in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Coming to the plate now, Brett Gardner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Renfro is over toward the line a bit as he takes it for the first out. Batting second, the right fielder, Aaron Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge, who comes in today leading the American League in batting for the season. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. First pitch on its way. No, that's Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Maddie, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. And that's exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good approach at the plate. Working the ball to all gaps. Line that's to line. Good. This team swung the bats well. I'm going to be looking for that again in this one. His previous meeting line with Tyler Glass now. He's gone two for six. 
Now the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now. Three and one. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. One out, nobody on. And a great location that time on the corner. Three and two now. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. You know, Dero, he is a pitcher's best friend, Clyde Washington. Down in the strike zone, he'll definitely call that ball right at the knees. If he's consistent with it, Dan, which Clyde always is, I'm okay with him. And this pitch is swung on and missed. And the AL's leading hitter is set down on strikes. That's two away. Time. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Right. And in case you haven't been keeping up the tabs on him, arguably he's been one of the hottest hitters in the league over the last seven or so games. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Two out, nobody on. One and one. Oh. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now the two one pitch. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo shot here to left. Number 14 on the season. And the Yankees have drawn even now at one apiece. Well, his offense spotted him a run in the top of the inning, and he just gave it right back. That's what happens when you plant one in a hitter's wheelhouse. Sent out of here in a hurry. Stepping in, Giancarlo Stanton. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First pitch coming, here it is. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him, nothing in one. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. Ground ball left side, defense set up perfectly. And Stanton's aboard, it's a base hit. He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through the hole for a single. DJ LeMahieu. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And no advance, it's ball one. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. And Meadows makes the catch for route number three. But the Yankees are able to tie things up on the solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second. All even now at 1-1. 
G Man Choi the next to hit. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Judge is on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The cook dog. Really. A dominant. Coming to the plate now, Willie Adamas. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Nope. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Another payoff pitch. Hit out towards second. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. So here's Mike Zanino as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. One ball, one strike. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Runner on first here with one gone and a one one tie. In the air now out to left field. Tuckman is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now that the center fielder. Kevin Back to the top of the order now, and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. From the stretch, mm, a little tardy there, no balls and a strike. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. Throw over to the bag and the runner back. And another throw over. And he'll dive back in safely. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. Well, he's been laboring a bit through these first two innings of work. That's 37 pitches, and ideally, he'd be closer to 27 instead. Two and one to the Rays leadoff batter. Two and one. 
A runner on first with two away. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. One left for Tampa. We'll go to the bottom of the second, tied at one. Digging in now for the Yankees, Gary Sanchez. Three hits for him in that ball game on Wednesday. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Off speed pitch, just missed inside. The 2 0 on the way. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And he holds off on the breaking ball, so the count runs full. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. And this is foul tipped as he stays alive here. But meanwhile, that ball came right back at our home plate umpire, and he may need some attention at this moment. The next 3-2. Liner toward right center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Man, I don't think he could have bisected those fielders any better if he tried. Drove that one into the alley for a gapper that'll bring him easily into second base. Digging in, Mike Tuckman. And for him, you have to think a turnaround is coming. Clearly not going his way of late. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Talkman, the former Colorado Rocky. He was acquired via trade last year. Yeah, this guy's fully settled in with this ball club right now. Knows what the manager and coaching staff expect from him. Is not taken aback by anything. He's been through the spring training process and gotten to know everybody in this organization top to bottom. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Count even at two and two. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. And the payoff pitch. 
high and deep to left center field. Back goes Kiermaier at the track. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. Man, they already hit one home run, and I thought they had a second one right there. Not quite enough behind it, though, as it banged off the wall for a double. He's giving up a fair amount of solid contact right now. Here's Miguel Andujar now, as he'll take a look at ball one. He'll start this one at 274, seven homers and 25 driven in. Now the 1 0 doesn't catch the outside corner, it's a ball. A runner at second, nobody out. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. It's now three to one. Looks like the pitching coach is going to come out and have a word with him. Don't like to see that in the second inning, but once he makes sure he's okay physically, I'm sure it'll be just words of encouragement the rest of the way. So now to the plate, Luke Voigt. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. The 1-0 home. Nobody out, runner on first. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. Now the 2-1. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at 3-1, and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. So striding forward now, Brett Gardner. It was a fly out for him to start the home first. From the belt, the pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. And that's right there, and we're even at one. First and second here with nobody out. Lifted the other way out to left center. Kiermaier on the run. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. Right fielder, Aaron. Here's big Aaron Judge. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. First offering on its way. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. Hey, the way this guy on the mound's been struggling to find the zone, I'm not mad at the guy taking a pitch. Still only one out in the inning. Great job of changing speeds there. It's 0-2. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. The 0-2 pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Adamas brings it in. There's one. Turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. 
Ball set for the start of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Jose Martinez, a base hit in his first trip. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Here's the first pitch to him. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Swung on and missed. One and one. They love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit back toward the mound. Uh, throw not nearly in time, so despite the great effort, that'll go into the books as an infield single. Now back. You know, D Row, that looked like a base hit all the way up the middle. A nice job there by the second baseman to get to it and make that jump throw to first base. Yeah, one of the tougher plays in our game. A lot of great second basemen in our sport make this look easy, but I'll tell you what, it's not. To throw the ball to first base while your entire body and momentum is headed towards left field is one of the most difficult things to do in our sport. Third inning here, three to one our score. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Torres at the bag. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Yeah, choppers like that make it really tough. You can't make the ball get to you much faster. So the key is making sure you field it cleanly and at least get one, which they did there. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. From the belt, the pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Runners on first with one down. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. One one takes a pitch for strike number two. And a fastball blew it right by him and there are two down. Well it's still early but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see he's right up there among league leaders in that department. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah he's got to put that one behind him especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Two out with the man at first. Up top, it's 2 and 0. Left a change out there for him, but he missed it 2 and 1. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2 and 0, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. The 2 1 home. Runners on the move for second. Pitch outside the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Welcome back as the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order. Fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. They enter the day near the top of the league in both team batting average and runs scored. So it's safe to say they're among the cream of the crop in terms of offensive production. Talking with some of the coaches earlier, they all alluded to not only the high level of talent on this club, 
but also the hitters' tireless work ethic. They praised the professionalism these players bring to their craft as a major reason for their success. And they said the hard work breeds confidence when it comes time to compete in the batter's box. All right, Heidi, thank you. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Breaking ball drops right in the shoot for a strike. Ooh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys. Curve ball right down the middle of the plate. And for him to take that pitch looking, he had to be sitting on something else. But he should have pulled the trigger. On the ground to the left side. Adamas scoops it up. Throw on to first. And one shortstop grounds out to the other one away. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Giancarlo Stanton now, one for one after a single his first time up. He's set, here it comes. Lays off 1 and 0. Now the pitch. That's wide 2 and 0. One out, nobody on. Three and O now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. To third. In time to first, and there are two away. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here it comes. The 1-0. No. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit in the air down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Kiermaier will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they hang on to a three to one lead. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Matt, Rays manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right, thanks, Heidi. Up next for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Now batting, number eight.
Stepping in, Brandon Lau. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. Now batting the first base, G Man Thor. At the plate now, G Man Choi. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. One run, six hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. One ball. Two straight. Ball two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. In now, Willie Adamas. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. A base hit in his first trip. One oh count, here it is. One run, six hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Throw over to first, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. One one home he is swung on and missed and that's strike two Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Slap hard the opposite way and that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year but. You never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Here now is Mike Zanino. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Into the second deck and gone. So a three run blast to straight away left eighth home run on the season for him as they take the lead four to three. See I just don't understand that he had an open base and could have pitched around him but they challenged him and lost big time. That is one costly decision. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer, And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermaier now. 
lots of hits given up but so far no walks at least he's making them work to get on base problem is they haven't had to work too hard the one two from 0-2 to 3-2 this is a pretty good at bat making this pitcher come back and really have to battle this is a pretty good at bat right here And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed okay. demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Now batting, Jose Martinez. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. On its way is pitch number 75. Rip down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Well, man, as we take a look at his line here, he might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems to be the case here. Standing in now, Austin Meadows. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. One and oh, here it is. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. Three runs already home here. Fastball well outside. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat-footed for much longer. The set and the two and one. You look in the dugout, you can tell that manager's getting ready to come out on that top step. If he doesn't get out of this situation right here, and it's a tough one, I think the bullpen comes in. Hit sharply toward the right side. That's in there. Base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Now a 5-3 game. Hey, d -Roy, I think we got a case right now. This team, they're just feasting on a pitcher that he's given up some runs. And it looks like he's starting to get a little bit tired, leaving some of these pitches up in the zone. Yeah, and I think there's a fight at the bat rack right now. Guys are licking their chops, knowing he's a little bit tired, going to leave stuff over the middle of the plate. Won't be surprised to see the bullpen get going. Into the box, Hunter Renfro. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. But four runs score in the inning, three coming right here on the three-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 5-3 in favor of Tampa Bay. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. All right, Heidi, thank you. Bottom of the inning now. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. Gary. He scored a run after stroking That's a double good. in his first at-bat. Pitch on the way. The oh. fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Action in the Rays pen now as they've got a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. Now the one oh. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Now the 2-0 home. 
hot shot down the line. But a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Hey. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Full count now. Now the three and two pitch. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up or he can really hurt you. So striding in, Mike Talkman. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one, his last at-bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. A runner at first with no outs here. That evens it up one and one. From the stretch. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot to stay inside that one. A little roller toward the hole. One there, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Now that was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off balance through the second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar, looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. From the belt, the pitch. In there at the knees, strike one. Watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Two well-executed pitches at the knees right there. But I know this hitter's looking for something up. And this one's in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. Oh, a double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Yanks held in check. Still a two-run deficit. It's five to three. Jonathan Holder, a six-foot-two-inch right-hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Number 56, Jonathan Holder. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Yandy Diaz. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Holder stands 6-2 and throws from the right side. He was taken in the sixth round during the 2014 draft. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. 2 0 oh now. Yeah. 
Here's the pitch. Hit back up the middle. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That lawn dart felt so good. Oh, Dero, this guy's been due. He really needed that one. At the plate, Brandon Lau, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's one for two in this one. The pitch. Ball three. This inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound, but here on 3 0, you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track. A strike, and it's three and one. One strike. Fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. When you get yourself to a three-one count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Three-two pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Not too often you see in a bat go from 3 and 0 to a strikeout, so that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the 3 0 take, but he still had to put it in the zone. Into the box now, G Man Choi. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Payoff pitch on its way. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Three, two, one more time. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored, looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. Stepping in now, Willie Adamas, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Oh. 
And this one gets away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Two out here and a runner at second. Strike called, two and one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. The 2 1 home. Three and one. Mike Zanino would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Bouncer up the middle. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Dan, you find yourself in trouble early putting guys on base, but then you're able to wiggle out of it, get two quick outs. You think you're going to get your team off the field, and with two outs, you give up a run scoring base hit. You know what happens sometimes, Dero? You lose concentration. You find yourself in a tough spot. You get two outs. You think you're just almost out of it, and you lose concentration, and that might have been what happened in that case. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. From the belt, the pitch. That's the ball. Two and one. Here's a look over to first, and the runner will get back standing. A runner on first with two away. To two and two now. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Just hung in there on that one. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. A couple of hits lead to a run here for Tampa Bay. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Rays six and the Yankees three. Brendan McKay, a six foot two inch left hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Brendan McKay. Into the box now, Luke Voigt. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. The first baseman, Luke Voigt. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time, it's ball one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And there's one away. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left handed hitting Brett Gardner. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a 
fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. McKay, 23 years old. This is his second year as a major leaguer. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Three and one now to Brett Gardner. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three, and there are two away. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. A ball and no strikes. No hits to this point. The 1 0. The swing and a miss, strike one. One ball, one strike. And a front foot curveball here that misses down and in for ball two. Left field and deep. Looking up is the left fielder. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. Number 17 for him on the season. And they cut the gap here. It's now 6-4. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. So now to the plate, Torres. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. One for two in the ball game thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1 and 1. Hey, a two out walk right there would be the time run to the plate, even though it's early on. You got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Giancarlo Stanton will get a chance in the inning following the base hit. So a solid single to left, and that gives him a multi-hit game here tonight as he tacks on to his total, currently third best on the Yankee ball club. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. One ball, no strikes to count. Two out with the man at first. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. The 2-0. Outside, 3 and 0 now. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. That one's in there, 3 and 1. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3 0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. And 
And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. In now, DJ LeMayhew. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Two down, runners at first and second. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. We're through five innings here tonight. It's the Rays six and the Yankees four. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Kevin Kiermeyer. He'll lead things off for Tampa here in the sixth. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Here it comes. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2. The numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh. Tried to throw the fastball by him, but it's high. One and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. Wow that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone and he still swung at it. Standing in now Jose Martinez as with one away he can't make contact on the first pitch it's strike one. Trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. The wind up and the 0 1. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Rays' DH. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Bases are empty, one man out. Into center field, line drive, base hit. I guarantee you at release point, he wanted to pull this pitch back, change up middle of the plate, usually gets deposited in the seats. At the plate now, Austin Meadows, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. So far, two for three in this one. The 1-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. 
He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. Drilled to first. And he tries to go to a knee to block it, but it's by him down the right field line. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, D. Rowe. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. Tuckman is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. The third baseman, number two, Yandy Diaz. So coming to the plate, Yandy Diaz. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. First pitch coming, here it is. Slider laid off for a ball. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. That one's a called strike. Back even at one. The one one is strike two one swinging. Ball. The one two. Two men are on with two men out. Drilled down the line, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. Rays strand a pair. They still lead it six to four. Leading off the inning, Gary Sanchez. And they'll need him to get something going here. Gary Sanchez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And there's ball one. One ball, one strike. One and two to the Yankees catcher. And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Well, you gotta love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball, and if he Go can back. learn to harness that and work in his solid secondary Go stuff, he's gonna have Go a really back. nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. In now, Mike Talkman. As he look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. The 1 0 home is swung on and missed, strike one. One out, nobody on. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier.
Into the box now, Miguel Andujar. As this is grounded, fouled off to the left. He's one for two in this one. Late one ball, one strike. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Two out, nobody on. And there's ball two now. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that for a strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. But he'll get there as he flags it down just shy of the wall. And with that, the side is retired. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. Zach Britton is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 53. Zach. Zach. Stepping up now, Brandon Lau. He's working on a one for three Zach. thus far. The second base. Number eight. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Yeah, you take a look at that two-seamer right there. Sinker had nasty downward plane on that ball. That thing must have gone down at least six inches. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. This is line to left. Oh, and this deflects right off him. The throw into second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Well, lefty on lefty, this is a tough matchup, but he stays in there, keeps that front shoulder closed, and just rips the pitch for a two-bagger. Nice job of defying the odds there. At the plate, G-Man Choi. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Popped up. Sanchez moving to his left. One away. The batter, number one. Short stop. Really. Adamas. Into the box, Willie Adamas. And it looks like this could be a critical at bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at bat to watch. Here comes the first pitch. Hit hard towards center. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Lau is on his way home. The relay. Throw to third, but he's in there. As a run will score on the play as well. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Mike Sonino will stride in again as first we flash you back to his at-bat in the fourth inning, and what a big one it was. A three-run home run that was certainly one of the big blows in the ballgame to this point. From the stretch. Oh. One ball. No strike. A 
ball and a strike. Same pitch that time, the sinker, but it looked like he made a good adjustment with it. Yeah, Matt, that's a great point. Released it from out front much better that time. I just think he wasn't real happy with the first one he threw, so he wanted to get the field back for it. Now the 2 1. He swung on and missed. A line shot to third base. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Now batting the center fielder, Kevin Kiermaier. So a runner at third, two men are out, and that means Kevin Kiermaier will hit next. First pitch coming, here it is. Men on third with two down. One oh pitches a slider, swung on and missed one and one. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Offers it that one a little late, and it's two and two now. From the belt, the pitch. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen, we Rays pick up a run on the RBI triple. Get up and stretch. It's the Rays seven and the Yankees four. Next for New York, Luke Voigt comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The first baseman, Luke Voigt. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. Adamas picks it up, and a good throw gets him one gone. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Brett Gardner. He was hunched out looking at strike three last time through. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Oh, now the 1 0. <laughs> Bases are empty, one man out. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. This will be fouled away. The one two. Oh, that's big down. That's lifted the other way out to left. Renfro comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. Striding in once again, Aaron Judge. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And that last at-bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Here comes the first pitch. Huh. 
Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? Curveball locks him up, strike three, and that's the third out. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. They're on the short end of a 7 4 score. Tommy Canely has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 48. Tommy Canely. Standing in a perfect four for four so far, Jose Martinez. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five hit performance here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ooh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. The pitch. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Down the third baseline. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Well, if you're going to bobble a ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. Stepping into the box, Austin Meadows. Set and the pitch. Change up a little bit inside, 1 0. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2 0. One out, nobody on. Oh. Two and one. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. And he misses again, ball three. Well, you can see here, this has been a steady diet of off speed pitches and what has it gotten him? Not a whole lot as he's fallen behind in the count. Three balls in one strike. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. Hey, pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Hit down the line at first. He's got it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The left field, number 11, Hunter Renfro. Ready for another chance. Hunter Renfro 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Even two and two count to Hunter Renfro. And that misses, so it's a full count three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Down in order go the Rays. 
They hold a 7 to 4 lead. Nick Anderson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 70, Nick Anderson. Now at the plate, Torres. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eighth. Not shortstop. First pitch of the at bat. And he'll lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. The 1 0. And it's fouled away. One one pitch. That's a corner. Swung on and missed that strike two. Two two. Down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Now the pitch. Full count, three balls and two strikes. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Stepping in now, Giancarlo Stanton. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 0 1 pitch. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Swing and a line drive, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. Now that the second baseman, DJ. LeMayhew. Now with the plate, DJ LeMayhew. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Comes set and the 0 1 is a fastball that misses. One ball, one strike. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. 
pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're on the short end of a 7-4 score. Ben Heller enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one at the plate. Yandy Diaz. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. The wind up and the 0 1. Line to the right side. And that is in the right field. So the leadoff man's aboard here to kick off the ninth. Hey, this looks like it could be a potential add on inning here in the ninth. Add on gives some breathing room to their pitcher going into the bottom of the inning, D Row. Yeah, you love when the offense stays aggressive. And you also like giving your relief pitcher a chance to breathe a little bit, not having to come out there with just a one run lead. To the plate now, Brandon Lau. As he'll take a look at ball one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. The 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. And it's one and two. Nobody out, runner on first. And this pitch is looked at for a ball, and that'll even the count of the Rays second baseman at two and two. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. The 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That's just a great pitch, both on the call from the catcher and the execution. If he hits it, there's a good chance it turns into a double play ball. But it's also a spot that's going to get a lot of whiffs, too. That's excellent pitching. Into the box, G-Man Choi. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Lays off for ball one. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. On that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Still a ball and two strikes. Runner at first here, one man out. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. So now to the plate, Willie Adamas as he rips it on the ground to second. Quick throw to Torres to retire the side. Ray's strand just the one. They hold a 7-4 lead. Oliver Drake comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. 
number 47, Oliver Ray. Standing in, Gary Sanchez. One for two in the ball game thus far. A not impossible, Gary. but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The 0-1 on its way. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee high. Nasty diving out of the zone. Ready with the 0 2. And this one's inside and high. 1 and 2 now. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Now that Into the box no now, field. Mike Talkman. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope. That's away. Last thing you want to do when you've got a three run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2 0, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. Now here it comes. Two balls and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. The 3 1. Inside, he misses ball four. And that hole at bat, I feel like he really didn't want to challenge him. And I'm really surprised by that because I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after. So a runner at first now with one away. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he lays off there, 1-0. Good fastball there. Didn't get the swing, but the guy at the plate isn't someone who chases many bad pitches. The 1 0 home is looked at off the plate for a ball. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Ball three. Luke Voigt, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. Here it is, the 3 0. Fouled away. Runners on first with one down. Sliced hard on the ground. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, that's one of the, I guess, the advantages of hitting with that hole between first and second base, Dero. First baseman has to hold that runner on. That leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. He took a look at the defense and saw where it was aligned and tried to beat him.
as a look now the pitch Luke Voigt comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one with some traffic on the base pass nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one here comes the 0 1 there's a fastball well off the plate for a ball hey this isn't going to be an easy save these guys are making a work for this one Fouls this one off. Runners are at first and second with one away. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Good spot for that pitch as it's chopped foul. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves, only look over the hard row 17 inches. Last chance for the Yankees. They'll stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Two down, runners at first and second. Swing and a liner. And this will get over his glove as he couldn't quite get up all the way. It's a base hit. And the run will score from second as it's back to just a two-run ball game now. Big, big, and I mean big, two-hard RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside, stayed through the baseball, and was able to come through. Jose Alvarado takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Into the box now, Aaron Judge, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The one and oh delivery. Hit high and deep to right center. On the move is Kiermeyer. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, that's why you pay the closer big money, so he can come slam the door quickly when he has to. Two pitches, one out, and that game's on ice. Well done. 7-5 tonight's final. The Rays took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Brendan McKay earns the victory in relief in this one, his seventh of the year. Jay Happ was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.